Not very often would the city commission a piece that deals with graffiti because graffiti is a problem, so to speak. So I decided to take a turn and make the focus about this piece, about graffiti and how it's looked at as criminal. You see some of the cockroaches in there. It's a pestilence, but it's, it is what gave birth to this movement. So you have to acknowledge it as an art form if you're gonna appreciate what came after it. A lot of my personal work speaks on more personal issues with culture and those community issues that I grew up facing that I wanna express to let people know that they are not alone and, and there's other people like ourselves that are going through certain struggles. When I first opened Gravel Mouth, it was a artist-run space and no one was really sure how to accept graffiti or what graffiti should be about or if they should look at it because as soon as you mention that you're a graffiti writer and you go like this or a graffiti artist or a street artist people see the motion of the spray can and automatically get turned off so it was a way to dismiss that omen that, and that taboo that goes along with the term graffiti and uh, help artists in transition from the graffiti world to the finer arts world and just let people know that when they're done with their stint in graffiti and they get older and they want to move on, that there's other outlets that are available to you and that's what Gravel Mouth is. Me and, and Nick Soup have uh, been painting together for a long time since the old days. Uh, he actually got me off the wall and put me on canvas and gave me one of my first shows which opened me up to the whole art scene and gallery scene and in turn uh, kind of switched with the spray paint and now I have a gallery and now he's a master of spray paint. We try to inspire um, future generations the best way we know how. And we do it big and we do it visually and hopefully people can, you know, be just driving down the street and see something that, that they're not used to in their neighborhood or something that's completely different that, you know, makes them think a little more forwardly as far as who they are and, and what they can accomplish. We wanted to create large work from there forward. Uh, we wanted to create large work to inspire other artists that will then create large work and then other people and have San Antonio be as colorful as possible, you know, at some point. And it seems to be heading that direction at this moment. So it's pretty exciting.